Hello everyone, Mr. John here from Air Team Institute with this week's Thursday tidbit where we're going to be talking about average speed and the harmonic mean. Let's look at an example. Suppose Jerry walks to school at a speed of 3 miles per hour and jogs home at a speed of 5 miles per hour. So we know he has home and school and he's going back and forth between these two places. We know that going from home to school, he's walking at a speed of three miles per hour. So this is one direction, three miles per hour. And then the other direction, he's coming home at a speed, he's jogging home, excited to be done with school of five miles per hour. So these are the distances, or these are the speeds that he's going back and forth from school. Now, one thing is we don't know the actual distance between home and school, right? So one of the tricks you can do is, right, use a variable for that. In fact, it doesn't matter what the distance is. So a lot of the times you could just pick a nice number, but let's just assume here that the distance between home and school is going to be d miles, just so we have a nice variable in this case. So d miles from home to school, and then we want to know the average speed for the round trip. So if we are looking for the average speed, remember our main formula for average speed is distance divided by time. So if we want to look for this average speed, we need to know the total distance divided by the total time in this case. Well, total distance is pretty easy. He's walking d miles to school and d miles back from school back home. So we basically have d plus d for the total distance in this case. Now, what is the total time? Well, in terms of the total time, He's walking three miles per hour to school. So to walk d miles, he is going to take d divided by three hours. Walking home, he speeds up to five miles per hour. So it's d divided by five miles per hour walking home. Now, right off the bat, a couple of observations here. Notice that all of the d's cancel. This is one of the reasons the thing that's true on the next slide with what we're going to call the harmonic mean is true. This ends up becoming, after all the d's cancel, we have 2 divided by 1 third plus 1 fifth. So that is 8 fifteenths. So we have 8 divided by 15 in our denominator. So once we simplify this, right, 2 times 15 over 8, 15 over 4, we're going to get 3.75. So 3.75 miles per hour is our average speed that Jerry has walking to and from school at these different rates. Notice it's not right in the middle, right? Because it takes longer for him to go to school, less time for him to come back. So it's a little bit more complicated than just saying the average speed in total is four miles per hour. It's actually a little less than that 3.75. Now, what is the main idea in terms of a kind of new concept for this case? Well, when we talked about the D's canceling, we kind of ended up with this two in the numerator, right? And the one third and the one fifth in the denominator, right? Our final answer in that problem ended up being, right? Two divided by one third plus one fifth. And that's how we got that, right? Two divided by 15 eighths. And we got our final answer. Let me write it as a fraction this time, 15 over four. And this is called the harmonic mean, right? Now we can do this with any two arbitrary numbers in a case like this. So let's just look at one other quick example here. What happens if x is 10 and y is 20? We know that the average, the regular mean, arithmetic mean of those two numbers is 15. 
but the harmonic V is 2 divided by 1 tenth plus 1 twentieth. And write 1 tenth plus 1 twentieth, this is just 3 twentieths. And so when we simplify this, we are going to get 40 over 3. This is the harmonic mean of the two numbers x and y. We saw one example, average speed for a round trip, where it's the same distance both ways. The average speed is the harmonic mean. But why don't you see if you can come up with some other explanations of where the harmonic mean would come up, and let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this week's tidbit. Check back each Thursday for a new tidbit in 2021. And hopefully I'll see everybody on the Zimmel site for extra practice as well. Goodbye.